Assalamu alaikum guys, I am Granpur and today we will discuss about the con rule. What is con rule? Con rule is used to identify the stereochemistry of, to identify the stereochemistry of, chemistry of amino acids and assigning them D configuration or L configuration. In con rule, we see the word con. What is con? CO is the acronym for carboxylic group. R is the acronym for alkyl group. And N is the acronym for amine group. So, this con rule is used to identify the stereochemistry of amino acids. Uh, we do rotation in the in this manner, and if the rotation is clockwise, then we assign it as D isomer. And if the rotation is in cone direction is anti-clockwise, then we assign it as L isomer. But uh, this case is only valid when our lowest purity group that is hydrogen is directed away away from the observer and is represented by the dash bond. So, in this molecule we can see that uh, this is our CO acronym used for carboxylic group, alkyl group and amine group then we do rotation in the direction of con. We can see the rotation is anti-clockwise and our hydrogen is directed away from the observer. So, we assign it as L isomer or L amino acid. In this molecule, we can see that the rotation of the cone is clockwise. The rotation is clockwise and our lowest purity group hydrogen is directed away from the observer. So, we assign it as D isomer or D amino acid. But in such compounds in which the hydrogen is directed towards the observer and is represented by the wedge bond, then how we apply the con rule? In such cases, we do rotation in the direction of con, in the direction of con, and if the rotation is clockwise, in this molecule we can see that the rotation is clockwise, so it is our L isomer because in this molecule the hydrogen is directed towards the observer and it is represented by the wedge bond. In this molecule we can see that if we do, if we do rotation in the direction of con, the direction is anti-clockwise and our hydrogen is directed towards the observer. So, we assign it as D isomer. So, these are the two different cases that uh, in which we apply con rule to identify the stereochemistry of the amino acid. If the hydrogen is directed away from the observer and then we do rotation in the direction of con, if the rotation is anti-clockwise, it is L isomer and if the rotation is clockwise and our hydrogen is directed away from the observer, we assign it as a D isomer. And then such compounds in which hydrogen is directed towards the observer and is represented by the wedge bond then we do rotation in the direction of con and if the rotation is clockwise, we assign it as L isomer and if the rotation is anti-clockwise, then we assign it as a D isomer.